Okay, so let's say you wanted to check current using a multimeter. Uh, how would you go about doing that? So, what we have here is a multimeter. And in this multimeter, you're capable of checking uh, current, so which makes it also uh, ammeter in, inside, in other words. Uh, you're able to check uh, two types of current. You're able to check DC current over on this area here using this area of the multimeter and you're able to check AC current using this area. Now what is AC versus DC? So DC current is what you would end up getting out of a let's say a battery operated product or uh, some sort of a product with a computer um, a computer inside. Okay. For those products, uh, DC, what it means is that the current is only going in one direction. It just goes to one direction and flows around in a uh, loop. So let's say, for instance, and I'm going to move this aside for now. Let's say, for instance, I have some sort of a circuit and it has a power supply. And let me use this loop here to this circle to represent a power supply. Okay and you have some component here and some other component here what this means is that the current is coming out of the power supply it goes in one direction and just goes through there and then back to the source itself all right that's what the dc means however if we're dealing with the ac supply And let's say these are my components and it's an AC supply. What it means is that the current goes in this direction and then it goes back in this direction and it goes back in this direction and it continues to do that in a cyclical pattern this way and that way and this way and that way continuously over and over in a cyclical pattern. Okay, so that's what uh, AC current and DC current means when it comes to the, uh, the terminology, all right? So this meter here can measure both of those. It can measure both DC current and AC current. All right, so in this, for this multimeter, we have to connect our cables to the multimeter. And down here at the bottom, you'll notice that for this multimeter, there's four different ports on it. There's a COM port, that is your common point or reference point port. Uh, typically what we do is we connect our black cable that comes with the, with the multimeter into that port. All right, so that's our cable being connected into that port. And then we have our uh, current port. And you'll notice that this has two current ports. It has a microamp, milliamp port, and it has a amp port. Now the amp port is for high current circuits. Okay. Uh, when it comes to this, I would not suggest that you really use, um, if you're not very familiar with electronics, I wouldn't recommend that you, you measure high current amp uh, circuitry uh, because they can be very, very, very dangerous. Okay. The lower amperage circuitry are typically typically uh, better for you to use okay so with your typical uh, for your micro amp or milliamp circuitry on this uh, multimeter what you'll notice is that it says that it, there's a fuse on the inside and what that fuse does is it protects the circuitry on the inside from any high currents uh, within the circuitry in case that you uh, set it on the wrong setting and by that if you go back up here to the top, you'll notice that we have different settings. We have 20 microamps, we have two milliamps, 200 milliamps, so on and so forth. Okay, this you'd set these based upon uh, the range, based upon what you, how much current you expect to be going through a circuit. Okay, you set that based on uh, the amount of current you expect to be going through a circuit. Now you have some uh, multimeters that are called uh, that have a function called auto ranging in there, and what they do is they automatically set the amperage based off of the connection that you make to the circuit so that it can protect the circuitry and 
measure the amount of current that you have in a circuit. Um, if you happen to have one of those, then that's great. It makes life easier on you. Uh, you may have within that one setting for high current and one for low current. Um, if you're checking circuitry for very simple home electronic stuff, uh, then probably the lower setting is correct. But if you have to use a higher setting, then I I highly suggest, unless you're familiar with uh, the this uh, with electronics, that you uh, leave that to a professional. Okay. So any which way, for our circuit, um, what we're going to be doing in this demonstration is we're just going to be looking at the lower amperage um, measurements. Okay, so we have we're going to be using lower amperage one, and then we're going to be doing DC amperage uh, secondly. Okay, so we're going to set uh, for this. We're going to set I'd say about 200 milliamps is a decent setting. Okay, and that means then we're going to have to plug our red cable into this port this port right here okay in order to check our current okay and now we have our multimeter set to 200 milliamps we have our cables into the port uh, in some for some multimeters once you change the dial it's already it will be automatically turned on for this one it's not automatically turned on you'd have to actually hit the power in order for it to be turned on okay so for this one you have to hit the power now let's talk about how you check current okay so let's go back to the circuit that we had uh before as a matter of fact let's go ahead and change this one so that we have a, a nice fresh piece of paper to begin with so in a circuit, let's say we have our source that's uh, producing the current, and we have one component that's here and another component that's here, okay? When you're checking current, in order to check current, you're going to have to break the circuit. So let's say this is the chain. It's sort of like a daisy chain or a loop that is created here. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to break the circuit and insert the current meter into that area. Okay, and we're gonna use the letter A to represent that. Insert the current meter into where we, we broke the circuit. All right, and what that's gonna do is, it's gonna find the current throughout the circuit. So what's happening here is that that current meter has current going through it and then through there, and that's how it's measuring it. It's measuring the current that's actually going through it as it goes through to the rest of the circuit. That, that's why, the circuit has to be broken, okay? So I have a circuit here that I've already uh, done or put together, all right? And I'm gonna put that on screen, just bear with me. Okay, so in this circuit, I have a voltage supply that's off screen that these two wires are going to that are off screen, okay? And I have two resistors that are in the circuit. I have this resistor that's here, and I have this resistor that's here. In this circuit, this circuit has five volts being provided to it through these two wires over here on the right. Okay, there's five volts being provided to it. Now, as I indicated in the diagram that I have here, we need to break the circuit and insert the multimeter into that spot, okay, in order to check the current. Okay, so in order to do that, my recommendation would be let's let's go ahead and break the circuit up here at this point. Okay, so I broke it at this point. So what I need to do is I need to insert the current meter, and I would suggest that you have the device off at the time that you're doing this. I would insert the current meter into this part right here. So that means the red probe from the current meter is going to be connected to that red wire that came from at the top in this case and then we're going to connect the black probe that's going from the voltmeter now to the resistor that was once connected to the uh, voltage supply there okay and what that does now is that gives us now our circuit so we've inserted our voltmeter, oops, and the cable just came off. We've inserted our voltmeter 
into the circuit. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Let's see how much of this we can get on the screen. So we inserted our voltmeter into these two points right here, okay, into the circuit. And now we, in order to check the current now, what we're going to do is go ahead and turn our current meter on. And again, we're gonna set it to the 200 milliamp setting. Okay, and so what this is saying now is that we have 0.9 milliamps that's going through this circuit here, 0.9 milliamps. And what you'll notice is that, that 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 value there is less than the two milliamps or less than the 200 uh, milliamps and definitely less than two milliamps. So if I wanted to see a more precise uh, reading, I can actually switch this because that 0.9 is less. I can now switch this to the two milliamp setting and you'll notice that it now says that uh, the setting or the current that's going through this circuit is 0.862 milliamps. Okay, it's 0.862 milliamps. All right, so if you need to check current, that's how you go about checking current. Let's go ahead and turn this off and let's just review this for a minute. So you put together your circuit, all right, and I'm showing this graphically on a paper. This is your supply over here. You have your supply you're going to put together a circuit and you're going to break the circuit and insert the ammeter. So the ammeter on a piece of paper graphically looks like this where you have the red wire and you have the black wire. Okay. And you'd break the circuit and you'd connect the, the, the red wire in here, black wire in here. Okay. In order to do that, by the way, if you had connected it the opposite way around, what would happen is you get a negative value in there. And as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and show that. So the circuit's back on the screen again, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these around such that the red's there, and black's over here, okay? And what you'll notice is that the current has a negative sign in the front of it, okay? Now this may have changed a little bit, but that's not too much to be concerned about. I wouldn't worry about it. But notice that it has a negative sign on the in, in front of it. And what that means is that our probe or the connection that we have is actually in the opposite direction of current flow, okay? The current should be flowing from the end that's red through the ammeter to the end that's black from the end that's red through the ammeter to the end that's black, meaning from the red terminal or the, the mi microamps or milliamps terminal over to the black, which is a common and going through the rest of the circuit, okay? So that's all the negative sign would mean if you end up seeing that. All right, so this is that's how you would end up checking the current in a circuit if you were to be using a multimeter, all right?